Hi, yes, Mort here. I uh, want to show you my do-it-myself uh, grounding cable and how to solve buzz issues. I think this sounds familiar. Touching the strings and then it's grounded, but constantly if you lose, not touching this, you get all these buzz noises. This is not a, a 50 or 60 hertz cycle. That's uh, really low, of course. Uh, 40 hertz is the E string, so 60 hertz is like the F or the F sharp. It's a really low hum. And it's, I'm not talking about the touching the poles of the, this super annoying sound. That's a different issue too. It's just the uh, fact the preamp is not grounded properly. Um, using this setup, normally I use this as a just the phones out as a practice amp with my headphones. I don't have the XLR cable connected to record like what I'm doing now. So it's a whole standalone unit to plug in and get out with the phones if it's battery powered. Or in my case, with a power adapter. But as we know, the power adapter itself is not connected to the ground either because it's only got hot and cold plugs it doesn't have the the power plug for grounding the, the whole thing um, if you do it like this you should be able to ground the the computer and the computer this is how a plug in my part of the world looks like these above and Bottom, those, these are the grounding uh, connections, and this is the hot and cold plug. So, this is connected to a power socket in the wall without grounding, then you don't do anything at all. But if you plug it in, like in my case, with the grounding, you can see the grounding here. Those are ground, the ground connections, has plugged in now. That means the grounding goes through this tiny cable, goes through those thingies, uh, comes out through the uh, firewire cable, and then goes to the to the converter, and then should be connected through the plug of the XLR to the ground of the preamp, and then. The bus is still not on, as you can hear. So that sucks. So what I did is make my own cable. And that's this. Once again, I don't know how your cable looks like. But this is a regular thing. Left and right is hot and cold. And up and down is the grounding. This is only connected to the ground, so please don't do anything else. There's nothing else connected, they are cut off. So those are not connected at all, otherwise you're gonna explode your whole preamp. The other side, I just have a jack plug, and once again, only connected this same ground cable to the sleeve, so the tip is untouched. Plug in. This uh, extension cable is plugged in. A proper rounded wall socket it's plugged in and now I got this and I can there's always one or two uh, uh, jacks unused at least in my case I just use in this case line out I'm not using I plug it in and hello <laughs> this is dead quiet isn't it I just plugged it in here and nothing, totally, totally quiet. Bit, just a bit. Still the pickup thing, the bit touching the, the, the pickup poles, but it's a whole different story. But this is way, 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 way more quiet. So this is my simple do-it-yourself trick, grounding your preamp. 